Robert Hutera had a plan to flee across the Iron Curtain in a homemade balloon. With him, he'd take his wife, their two children, and a bicycle. He was a Czechoslovak cycling champion, but had no idea how to make a hot air balloon. The border couldn't be crossed on foot. Mrtvých na hranicích jsou stovky. Některé části toho oplocení měly v sobě několik tisíc voltů, kdy v podstatě ten, kdo se k tomu přiblížil, případně se toho dotkl, tak dostal tak vysokou ránu, že v podstatě na místě uhořel. Ten systém byl ale následně změněn, dokonce některé úseky státní hranice byly i zaminovány. The audacious escape began on the night of September the 7th, 1983. Disaster almost struck within minutes as the basket caught on a tree. Otero was able to unhitch the balloon and soon they were soaring. It was three kilometers high. It was we just break the clouds. It was beautiful to look into the clouds. It was like 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 when you see nice ocean. It was like this one, these clouds. As a we never we just everybody was looking. As they approached the border, a guard below noticed the flame of the gas burner. A flare illuminated the sky and searchlights were switched on. Putera had fitted a steel plate to the bottom of the basket to protect them from bullets. But the border guard didn't open fire. Fifty minutes later, they realized they were flying over Austria. Czechoslovakia was a dark village. No, Austrian side was gasoline station, big lights, everywhere, street. Because I know they were living there. I was not exactly where I am. By the ruins of a castle, Austrian winemaker Matthias Pessau was working late. Suddenly he heard a hissing noise outside and went to see what was happening. Ja, es war für mich unverständlich. Ich hatte einen Heißluftballon in unserer Gegend nie gesehen. The balloon crashed into vineyard poles. Pessau was the first to arrive. When he spoke in German, the family knew they were free. Ich habe mir schon Gedanken darüber gemacht. Denn der Ballonflug war ja doch eine gefährliche Angelegenheit. Wie ein Familienvater so weit kommt, dass er seine Kinder und seine Frau in den Ballon nimmt und diese gefährliche Überfahrt riskiert. Es müssen schon sehr, sehr schlechte Zeiten gewesen sein. The family eventually settled in the United States. President Ronald Reagan personally congratulated them on their escape. Já jsem urobil velkou hanbu právě v republiky, že nestražili do zranice. A to nezabudlili, no. <laughs> 25 years later, Hutira and his wife returned home. His flight to freedom makes him a living legend. <laughs>